guys, welcome back to the channel for another episode of a wine tasting with Retro. Yes, it's been a while since I've uh, done one of these, you know, enjoyed a glass of wine by the fireside, so thought I was, uh, thought it was time for, to do one. So today, I'm going to be tasting out and reviewing this Arbor Mist Mango Strawberry Moscato, okay? This, this has been chilling in my fridge for a while. Um, you know, this is a wine that I would I would recommend you you know drink chilled. Uh, as I've said before though, um, you know if you got it in your fridge, let it set out for about ten or fifteen minutes, and that's like perfect. I mean that's just my my personal preference anyway. Uh, you, you know you could be um, different. You know you might like it straight out of the fridge chilled, or who knows maybe even like it. Um, you know, warmer, even room temperature. You know, everybody's different. So, but for my personal experience and uh, taste, uh, yeah, have it chilled and then leave, let it set out for about uh, 10 or 15 minutes. So, Moscato is my favorite wine. Uh, you know, it's a sweet wine. There's a lot of wines I don't like, you know, being that I do like the sweet wines. You could probably understand that if you know anything about wines, because there's a lot of wines out there that just, they call them dry wines, but they're, it's really more of a bitter taste. It's like, ugh, how do people, how do people like that, you know? But, uh, some people say over time, if you drink it enough, you develop a taste for it, but it's like, I don't know, I, I just never really subscribe to that theory, because it's almost like, you're trying to um, play a trick on your brain, like, oh, uh, like you drink it and it's like, eh, I guess it's not too bad. And then, I, and then if you drink it enough, then you start to like it. It's like, uh, I, I mean, you either like it or you don't from the, from the beginning. So that's just kind of my simple thinking, right? So I've got my wine glass here. Let's pour a glass. Just a little bit. Not too much. Got to give it room to breathe, right? <laughs> let's give it a let's give it a smell. Mmm, has a has a pretty pleasant t uh, smell. Twirl it, spin it around a little bit in there. Cheers. Mm, okay. It's pretty decent. Mm, mango strawberry. Yeah, I like it. You know, it's not, for me and Moscato, it's, it's not overly sweet for me. Now, the people out there that like, um, you know, Merlot or Riesling, uh, this probably would be sweet to you. Uh, got me a little uh, plate of crackers and cheese here. I'm going like to, I like to try it, see how it goes with wine. That's very enjoyable too. <clears throat> you know, some foods can uh, enhance the flavor of wine, or I've heard it the other way around. You know, some wines can enhance the flavor of food. So, which whichever you prefer, right? But yeah, this is a uh, pretty. This is pretty enjoyable. It's definitely it's smooth. And that's, I'm just going to say semi-sweet. That's just my take, right? To me, that's what you want in a wine. I don't want this, um, you know, bitter, dry, mm, goes down rough. It's like, 
you know, I that's to me that's not enjoyable, right? Another round. <laughs> one one more here before I give my final thoughts. Yeah. I dig it. I'd recommend it. Um, see, for the flavor, it's pretty decent, you know. I'm going to go for an 8 out of 10 on the flavor, right? So, have you guys ever tried this Arbor Mist Mango Strawberry Moscato? If you guys, have you heard of it? Have you tried it? And the great, also, the other good thing about it, it is reasonably priced. I think I got this for like mm, six or seven dollars, so it, it ain't cra it ain't crazy uh, on the price, you know. But have you have you guys uh, heard of this he heard of this or tried it? Pretty enjoyable. I like it. I would I would definitely buy it again. Yeah, leave me some comments below if you guys uh, tried it, if you like it, your thoughts and your favorite wines. You know, how about that? And I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. But I think that's going to do it for the uh, video. But if this is your first time to the channel, tap that red subscribe button down there. Then the bell next to it. Ding, ding. And that way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So until next time, guys. Keep it retro.